and greetings and welcome to your Friday TGIF version of CNY Weather Team. We'll cover through the weekend. Don't forget, you can tune in live at 5.55 on live stream free app. You just download it and follow CNY Jeff Matthews at 5.55. Get your complete five-day forecast live and it's interactive as well. And Periscope at 6.05. A lot of fun there. Pictures, video, we share back and forth. Your forecast for the next three days on that. And the reason it's limited to three days is because we go on all day and night if we did five days everywhere, because we're doing five countries and 16, 17 cities now. It's crazy. And there's a contest every week. Someone can win a prize. Meanwhile, CNYWeatherTainment.com has all of your weather information. And you can also get me on YouTube now. We have our own YouTube channel. so you shouldn't be surprised. The rain that's coming our way for Friday will end before the day ends. The weekend, especially Sunday, a little bit up in the air, we'll talk about it. Meanwhile, temp trend. Trending warm for Friday, but then much cooler for the weekend as promised. About average for Monday and meandering close to average, which continues to slowly go up at 60 degrees, which is five dozen cousin for the next few days. Eastern Seaboard that had beautiful weather the last 24 hours, forget about it. Don't even look. Because this storm front is moving in. It brought the clouds, it's brought the intermittent rain from Thursday night. The secondary storm is bringing some enhancement to it, meaning some heavier downpours at times on Friday that you can see in the last 24 hours have kind of raked Illinois and Iowa and Missouri and Indiana with some very heavy downpours. That's all moving through for your day Friday. with the increasing clouds on Thursday afternoon. The rain Thursday Friday. The rain will end in time for a pretty good looking Saturday. And then not so much on Sunday. Okay? But the almanac first. Double upside down, up, double upside down hockey sticks for a high. If you take the 77s and you put them upside down, you got double hockey sticks. That 77 was even above my forecast. And the 31 was very close to my forecast for the low. But look at the wide range. That is a 46 degree temperature spread from the time you started your day at 6 or 7 a.m. to the time you were outdoors for lunch at 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That's unbelievable. That's a huge range. It indicates to me that the air was very dry on Thursday without much wind and totally clear sky for much of the day. That's how you would get that kind of a range. Meanwhile, it actually got close enough on the high and the low side. Nine off the record high of 86, but on the same day today, we were only 10 off the record low. You know, those records didn't go in the books on the same day. Those were different years. So for us to be that relatively close on the same day indicates just how wide of a temperature range we had. Crazy. I love it, though. 1345 on the daylight, still increasing at a pretty good clip. Before we get to the forecast, I want to remind you the forecast is brought to you in part by Picture Perfect Pool and Affordable Spas, Route 5, New Hartford. Check it out. Check out my forecast for Friday. Which is a way of saying it's not going to be continuous all day rain. There'll be intermittent showers in the morning. There'll be a few downpours in the late morning and afternoon hours because of that secondary storm pushing in. There will also be a few breaks of sun in between the showers, which should be enough to get us up to about 70 degrees. Friday night, clearing up quickly. But there may be some fog in its wake. So with the moisture on the ground and falling rain, and the temps falling off and getting cool, there may be enough moisture in the atmosphere to create in the sky some fog, a low of 45. Saturday, assuming there isn't much fog, it should be mostly sunny. A bit cool, double nickels. Similar temperature-wise for Sunday, but clouding up quickly. say 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. One shower. Then overnight into Monday, there'll be periods of showers. The significant rain will occur north of Route 20, so north of Waterville. It'll be much less likely for places like Sherburn, Norwich, Oneonta, Richfield Springs. But it will still be in the neighborhood for, for Monday, and there could even be a little light rain by early Tuesday. That's your five-day forecast. Take it and make it a great day.